Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Act IAC Executive Director Ken Allen. Good evening. It's my pleasure to be the first to officially welcome you to the 2017 ELC. Um, and uh, it's a great day. Glad to see everybody here. This is going to be an exciting event. If you were paying attention a moment ago, you may have noticed we did not have a flag on the t stage. Thanks to a Miss Betsy Ross, she knitted it for us. So if you would please stand, uh, we would like to do the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the We need a few more minutes of your time before we eat dinner, but please sit down. Many of you in this room will remember that five years ago we were getting ready to host this dinner and it didn't happen because this is the anniversary of Hurricane Sandy. Uh, and if you were here, you know that at 10 o'clock that morning, we had to cancel and send everybody home, including those who had just arrived. It was uh, unfortunate. It was the only time we've ever had to cancel ELC, and clearly it was a very traumatic experience, certainly for the attendees, but it was also traumatic for the conference planning committee. They had spent a year planning what would have been, according to them, probably the best ELC ever. <laughs> but they didn't get to do it. So we decided that uh, we would take this opportunity of the last ELC in Williamsburg to invite them back to do it again. And of course, those of you know that was Casey Coleman and uh, Ted Davies. Um, we figured there's no way in the world you could have two hurricanes in our lifetime like that. But with the weather we had today and last night, for a while we were beginning to wonder. But this time, we got them some adult supervision so we added Renee uh, Wynn from NASA to the planning committee. So it is my pleasure, five years later than they expected to be on this stage, to ask Ted and Casey and Renee Wynn to come forward and open the 2017 ELC. Yes, it is possible to have an ELC without a hurricane. We're very excited about that. Thanks, Ken, and welcome everybody to ELC 2017. Uh, I believe that those that are here for the networking are off to a good start. We've had three networking events in the first two hours, so I think we're, we're moving in the right direction there. For those of you that are here for the content, that will be filled tomorrow. 
for those of you that are here for some uplifting and energizing uh, uh, discussion and, and, and entertainment, uh, that'll be some tonight. So there's something for everybody coming up. <clears throat> for a number of years, act IAC has begun this conference with the missing man ceremony. This is a tribute to the men and women of the armed services and a way of saying thank you for the sacrifice, for their sacrifice in the defense of our nation. As we planned this year's event, it was noted that those in the military are not the only individuals who serve and share a commitment to the citizens of our country. So in addition to recognizing those who serve as members of the armed services, we'd like to broaden our recognition this evening. From law enforcement officers to firefighters to those who respond to emergencies and national disasters across the globe, there are thousands of individuals who protect and serve us every day. And behind them are thousands more who go to the office every day at all levels and do their best to serve citizens in a variety of missions. For the majority of these public servants, it's not just a job, it's a passion and a calling. So tonight, we want to begin ELC by thanking and honoring all those in public service for their commitment and their contribution to our nation. Our community is fortunate to have many of those individuals among our members. So I'd like to ask those in the room who have served in our military and those that currently work for the government to stand and be recognized. step to them and raise your glass and join me in thanking these exceptional individuals who work on behalf of all the citizens, the entire public that is in our nation. Cheers. 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 <clears throat> Everyone here this evening works in some way to support the mission of government. The people involved in the public-private partnership operating under the banner of act IAC and gather here in Williamsburg for the next two days work tirelessly year-round to make the mission possible. Thank you very much for your commitment to everyone in the room. Now, please enjoy your dinner. We will soon hear from our keynote speaker this evening, Walter Bond. Enjoy. Manja. <laughs> <laughs> 